um, everybody here smokes, right? And the audio guy, Andrew, he doesn't allow people to smoke inside. You know, it's, it, you know, it's, it's not like it's his place, but he just doesn't allow it, or he doesn't. He would rather that no one did, right? So every time I um, go outside, I smoke out of habit. And since we were shooting outside, I was smoking all the time because I'm outside and I should be able to smoke. I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't really, you know, inhale every every dragon I take off of a cigarette though. Right, and that the operations people. You know, I've heard it's good for you. I smoke for health reasons. Your weapon, that's a good idea. Cut the last part. <laughs> My directing style is the crane style. I use the crane mostly. Um, sometimes I use frozen rope. Um, <laughs> my directing style. I don't know. The, the whole thing, the whole, right, here, all right, here's the, here's the deal. Here's what I think. It's like the, the real work of directing comes when, when you're not working with professionals. You know, then you really have to work. You really have to direct. It's like, it's like standing on the other side of this camera. I'm not a professional person being on camera. You know, you have to kind of tell me what to do a little bit and that kind of thing. I think, I think Jack and I have gotten to the point where we trust each other enough that when one has a thought or an idea about something, the other one listens. But the, with, with the kind of caliber of actors that we had, it's more just like tone and things like that. It's like looking at it, looking at the performance and watching the performance, and then usually you're on the same page with them. You, you talk to them right after the, after the um, take and you say, you know, I, you know, some I, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, you know, quite like I think I should have. And I, ah, I got it, I got it. And then they would do it again, perfect, you know, because they're on the same page. So, so what we ended up getting is a combination of that. A combination of the, the preparedness that goes in that is a result of the planning and knowing. And that, uh, creating enough relaxation and confidence to allow intuition, to, to creative spirit to really come through and say, wait a minute, while we're in the moment and while we're here, let's do this. And they'll all, all of us go, yeah, yeah. And, and Jack and I work together that way, I think, pretty well. I don't know in terms of style, you know, as a director where I fall in with that, but I think I like to kind of just pull from like, oh, well, here's what I had in mind, but now there's an introduction of this which could make it better, so uh, I'll be open to that. Oh, oh, or or you want to play it that way? You want to you want to read this this? You, you want to deliver the lines that way? Huh? Well, I'll be damned. That's pretty good. I hadn't thought of that. Let's go with it. It's better. Open. That's my. That's the crane style. Open. So, uh, how have <clears throat> your experiences been on the set so far? Oh, they've been great. Every everybody has been wonderful. And truly, everybody's been very nice, uh, thoroughly professional, n no egos at all. Just entirely accessible, super nice, and the food is good, so what can you do? That's right. You know, that's and, we were, and we were outside three and days we were in a row outside. along the river, and the weather, Freezing. although it got cold one day, really cold, <laughs> it was beautiful weather. We were really blessed with weather. Yeah. And we'll be out there again tomorrow for the day for our fight scene. Which should be a lot of fun. Mark's going to get dirty. I'm gonna get dirty and it's gonna be a long day for me and the stunt guy. Okay, with the fight choreography we had, uh, we didn't have a stunt person to be the beast. We didn't lock that in. Uh, it was actually, believe it or not, gonna be me. Um, because in physical shape, I was closer to uh, the size of Mark Joy than anybody else. Plus, we were kinda of out of money. And then I could do the, the physical stunts that were required. And then, in, as looking at it and realizing when the, the wardrobe actually changed from uh, a more supernatural hooded death type figure, which would cover my out of shape physique, to a more slim fitting hooded black glove than what you see now on camera. It was like, ah, no, I don't look good in that. So we got lucky enough to, our unit production manager, uh, Matt West, knew a gentleman, uh, Sam, who came in and stepped in. He's a, a martial artist, stunt work, 
and he was able to bring a physicality that me, not being, have done it for so many years, was able to bring into this, into the, the fight choreography. There was one moment that I will cherish for a long time. In the fight scene, when we reached the point where the beast has really overcome my character, just literally beat the heck out. And what we needed was a shot of my character's POV looking up at the beast as he picked him up by the ankle and dragged him away. And they gave, I said, let me shoot. And they set the airy 2C on my chest. I, I framed up the shot, and they rolled film, they rolled camera, and away we went. And Jack Hartman said, how'd that look? I said, I think that's probably the best shot in the film. There he is. And Jack said, well, excellent. Let's get another one just for safety. You know, I mean, I, I had a good time shooting all of it, really. Uh, even even the parts that even the parts that were that we were pressed for time and all that kind of thing. I mean, it was still, you know, I I, I like the feeling that I ha I had at the end of, of every one of those days, which is, you know, you, you get home and even though you know you got an early crew call the next day, it's like you you go home and you feel like fulfilled. You know how the Greeks define happiness? The Greeks define happiness as the fullest use of your powers along the lines of excellence. You know, like really working hard at doing something good, you know? And that's fulfillment. And I would come home at night being fulfilled and feeling like, you know, we, everyone, everyone worked really hard and everyone, no one complained and no one bitched about anything. And it's just, you know, and hopefully we have an image on the negative. And then, you know, it's a good day. It was all good. I, I do recall there were several times when I was just caught a, a little off guard with this feeling that, my God, you know, I would look out over the river and over the crew, this hive of activity, and a couple actors off to the side laughing and joking with each other, and craft services over there, and a couple people getting coffee and eating something, and just thinking, or this is something you always want to do. Yeah. And then it's happening. And I would just have this feeling of warmth and just feel like, thanks. And it's really cool. It's really cool to do that. <laughs>